All right, guys, January 26th, 2020. It is one of the coldest days of the year that Volcano Bay is actually open. The high is 68 degrees. The current temperature is 65. And the low is just 54 degrees. We're gonna see just what Volcano Bay is like on one of the coldest operating days of the entire year. So usually the park is closed if the high is under 70. And in fact, today, Aquatica, which is SeaWorld's water park, and H2O Live, which is the water park at Mar Margaritaville, are both closed. Even though it's a popular lunchtime, you don't have to wait very long for food today. Surprise, surprise. But I am pretty shocked that most of the food stalls are actually open. You may be so inclined to believe the paths are pretty much absolutely dead in the park today because there is almost no one here. However, interestingly enough, walking into Universal, the dry parks are probably pretty busy today because there was quite a lot of traffic. No surprise here, the wait times for every single slide are either ride now or enjoy any time. If you don't know how this system works, you basically, everything's like a flash pass. So if it's ride now, that means that there's no return time. You just go at any moment. And if it's enjoy any time, that means that basically there is no line. It's a pool, a play area, a lazy river, etc. Something of note is Krakatau is actually closed today. So Krakatau may possibly have a very high spot. It does have a high staffing limit. So maybe that's why that attraction was cut. Uh, as well as Punga Racers, which is uh, used to be a mat racer that everyone could ride, but then they cut it to a weight limit of 150 pounds. So that probably gets very low ridership. So that's probably why that was cut. Um, that is pretty much it for the rides. There is absolutely zero weight for anything. Dancing right. Dragons. Uh, usually it's pretty tough to even get a spot at this bar, but today uh, there's some people cutting through. But other than that, there is absolutely no one enjoying a frosty beverage. Wait, there's actually a decent uh, number of people in the wave pool and just getting this close, I can kind of tell why. Believe it or not, from all the way back here, I can actually feel the heat coming off the water. So stepping in, it is, this is very warm. It's probably around like 80, 85 degrees if I had to guess the water. Um, no issues with finding a lounge chair, but how about that? The water is so warm, you can actually feel a difference standing this close to it. That's pretty incredible. Pools, as you can tell, no one braving this water, but let's see how warm it is. Uh, this one's very warm as well. So I wonder why there's not more people over here. For Kukiri, feel how warm the water is in the Lazy River. This is probably the warmest water of all so far. The water slides, you're in luck today. As you can see, there's not many people heading up those stairs. I think the reason why is pretty obvious. So the water is very warm, but the air is quite cold. So if you're gonna do the water, you're gonna stay in the water, like one of the lazy rivers or uh, so wave people riding. In fact, they have the tubes stacked up on the uh, conveyor belt on the way up. Usually that thing is always rolling because people are going down so consistently, but we not the first snack stand that's closed. And to be honest, I'm surprised it took this long. I thought that almost everything was going to be closed because judging by the volume of guests in here, I don't think it's possible they're turning a profit since there's, you know, of this view, we see six employees and five guests. It certainly doesn't have that many people in it, even though we did feel that it was very warm. But as you can see, not many guests that we time. found that's closed. However, it is right next to, hello, this stall, which is open. Yay. One of the most popular restaurants here. They have um, really good pizza, surprisingly. And they also have like macaroni and cheese. Usually every time I've come here, there's been a line, at least for a couple of people. Not the case it's today. Krakatau, um, judging by I don't think it's closed for staffing. It might have some maintenance going on. I'm not 100% sure what's going on there, but it is closed today. Call this one the Fearless River. Every time I've gone, this is actually usually the warmest uh, water that is in the entire park. 
So let's get down there and let's see just how warm it is. There's another group of employees. Not many customers, but lots of employees there going is, on. This is the what usually has the warmest water. Let's feel it today. Well, it's just about as warm as all the other water. So I wouldn't say it's uh, warmer than the Here other is one. the mat racers. Um, maybe, so I'm noticing, you know, Punga racers and uh, Krakatau, they're really close to each other. So I wouldn't be at all surprised if they actually share the same water pumps and something. So maybe it's not closed for a staffing issue. Maybe it's closed for some kind of maintenance issue with the water pump um, or something like that. Uh, maybe they're treating the water or something. I'm not 100% sure. But if they were gonna close these two attractions for a full day, today is definitely the Here's day. Here's the other it. big bar at uh, Volcano Bay, Boat Bar. I think there's actually three big bars. And this one is actually totally closed. So not everything is, totally is closed today. You can see, there's not many people coming down the slides today. The splash pools are empty. Lifeguards don't have a whole lot to do. Oh, there goes someone. Yay! Slides are usually so dead that they put a, a sign that says that you can ride now right out here, like in the middle of the uh, uh, pathway, so people will know how to get to them and that they don't have a line. But it's so dead, they didn't even do that today. So probably because the whole park Today, is right it is closed so the stuff at the front of the park is open the stuff at the back is not as open such as this concierge booth over here also He's finding closed. a lounger next stand is closed these are the two drop slides now these are so low capacity there's always a line um, because only one person can go at a time basically uh, so even today there's like a two person wait up there. Um, so I wouldn't call it exactly a line, but these rides are probably still operating uh, close near their full capacity because of the delay, uh, because of how low capacity they are. So even when they're at full capacity, on a day like today, it still works. I think that this is one of the places where you can go and get an oyster like opened for the Pearl. Plus, stall is open in case you need that cool beverage. There's someone. Yay! This is the main cabana area. So, these two are empty. These two are empty. Those four down there are empty. I bet you that they are all empty. So, I bet you if you were trying to get a cabana for a really cheap price, today is the day to do it. All of these cabanas we just walked past are right empty. here in front of this gate. It's something you usually don't notice, but the fact that there's literally no one around making noise. Standing here, you can actually hear the cars on I-4, which is on the other side of that gate. Usually you can't tell because there's just so much hustle and bustle. On the coldest operating day of the year so far. If you guys don't mind bear, uh, bearing the cold a little bit, and you want to get all the rides in in one day and you don't want to wait for anything coming on a cold january day where you're not even sure if they're going to open or not might just be for you all right guys that's it if you enjoy content like this do be sure to rate comment and subscribe i'm gonna try and find me a lounge chair might be a little bit difficult but i'm gonna enjoy the rest of this beautiful day here at volcano bay thank you so much guys please be sure to rate comment and subscribe bye